For the first time, we are seeing what police saw. The night a Maserati flew 144 miles an hour down Square Lake Road and crashed into a Subaru, killing a mother of three. Our McDonald walks us through the dash cam video as police arrived on scene. Bloomfield Township police are rushing to the scene, Square Lake between Woodward and Telegraph. It's a January night. When they arrive, it's clear it's a devastating wreck. Two cars, a Subaru and a Maserati. The driver of the Maserati is out of his car. The driver of the Subaru is not. <laughs> the person you hear nervously laughing over the blaringly loud horn on the police video is this man, 43-year-old Gregory Belkin. Police say he was drunk and driving his Maserati 144 miles an hour down Square Lake Road when he smashed into Rhonda Williams, a 53-year-old mother of three from Oakland Township who was on her way home after work. Police got Williams out of what was left of her car, but it was hopeless. She died at the hospital. Take a listen as Belkin, the night of the crash, tells officers what happened. He would fail multiple sobriety tests moments later. Right, I, came, I look down, I look up, nobody's moving. Back here live, police telling us that Belkin's blood alcohol was three times the legal limit. It turns out he had spent most of that day trying to convince a woman who had broken up with him to marry him, and she said no. Devin, Karen. Back to you. Now, Mara, Belkin told police in that tape that William's car was not moving, and that was one of the reasons that he hit her. Do police and prosecutors believe that? I'll tell you what, Karen, that turns out to be 100% not true. Accident investigators say that Rhonda Williams was probably driving about 54 miles an hour down that stretch of Square Lake, which is pretty basic for that area. I mean, the speed limit is, what, 50? So she was going just a tad over the speed limit. He just rolled right up on her and crushed her going 144 miles an hour. Back to you. Upsetting video there. That is very heartbreaking. All right. Thank you, Mark.